Hi, I'm Adam Drake from You Can Seek Your Racing, and today I'm going to show you how I shim my clutch bell on my Mugen vehicles. So this should be, should be the same for any vehicle or any type of clutch system, whether it's a three shoe, four shoe, um, or regardless of the brand. There's basically two things that you need to check for. First of all, you need to make sure that the bell is shimmed out enough to where the bell isn't rubbing on the flywheel pins or the shoes. Usually you have to run at least one or two shims behind uh, this inner bearing. Otherwise, when you push in, you'll feel that the, the bell is actually slightly rubbing on a flywheel pin. So if that's the case, you want to just go ahead and add one shim at a time. Put it on, make sure everything spins free. Again, push in and make sure you can almost kind of like rock the bell. Make sure that the bell doesn't hit the flywheel pins or rub on the shoes. And then the next thing that you need to worry about when shimming is the amount of end play that you have when you go ahead and put your screw and washer. So this looks like I have a decent amount of the shaft exposed past the outer bearing. So I'm going to go ahead and start with two shims. Secure the screw. And that's pretty much net. There's no end play at all. It's actually slightly compressing the bearings. So if that's the case, you'll want to go ahead and remove one of those shims or go to a little bit thinner shim. So we'll just take one of the shims off, put the screw back in, and then check the end play. And as you can see there, it's just a little bit, probably about two tenths of a millimeter and that's about perfect because um, dust, dirt can kind of get in there. When everything gets hot, it can expand. You want to make sure you have just a little bit of end play, but not too much end play. If there's too much end play, the bell can kind of crash and bang into the bearings and, and make the bearings um, wear out a little bit faster. But that's how I shim the clutch bells on my Mugen vehicles. And again, this can be used uh, for basically any vehicle, any nitro vehicle out there.